how is downtown Vegas reversing its seedy reputation? With the help of a tiny village of Airstreams that's home to young creatives and entrepreneurs. It's just this awesome community of about 30 people that live together, all in different tiny forms. So if that's a tiny house, an Airstream, or a micro apartment. There's 10 dogs, an alpaca, and a chicken, and it's kind of crazy, but I'm super fortunate to be able to call them my family. The neon lights and casinos of downtown Las Vegas were once the city's main attraction. But with the development of the Las Vegas Strip in the late 80s and 90s, that all changed. Downtown was a nice area at one time, but then it kind of just got forgotten. With the redevelopment of the iconic Fremont Street in 2007, the revitalization of downtown Las Vegas has been slowly underway. But now there's a new wave of young and hungry entrepreneurs. People are not afraid to chase after their dreams here, and they're encouraged to. Downtown Vegas has become an incubator for small businesses and creative minds. And many of them live in this tight-knit Airstream community built on a former motel site called Ferguson's Downtown. Welcome to private residential at Ferguson's downtown. This is Marley. <laughs> he lives here. <laughs> We've got about 15 different trailers on this city block between our tiny house mansion, Airstreams, and then tiny houses. And then we have seven micro apartment units that are a little over 500 square feet. We host a lot of different movie nights, jam sessions with our local musician community as well, uh, Sunday brunch where you just kind of come and hang out by the fire. So we have a hot tub and a heated pool. We also have our nice community hangout spot here. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. The tiny community was built to attract young creatives and professionals to the area, like Jonathan Bricklin. He and his girlfriend, Sarah Arnold, live in this 220 square foot trailer. This is my home. My arm span approximately is the width of my house. It's cozy. The bed actually is like this cozy nook. I think it's healthy to keep your possessions to as few as possible. But as you see, I have a lot of shit, even though this is a reduction of 90% of what I used to own. But it works. We were supposed to only be here for three days, and it's been... A year and a half. <laughs> yeah. Jonathan and Sarah were drawn to the minimalist lifestyle, the communal spirit, and the colorful collection of characters like Daniel, a musician who has fully embraced tiny living. It's kind of a mix between college dorming and like a Burning Man camp, but it's the people that are here that make the community special. It was like getting a family and all of our friends just in one package. We're all really close. We all take care of each other. We all take care of each other's pets. As an array of individuals, we have CEOs, people that own their own companies, to musicians, to a six-year-old, uh, to people that work at Zappos. There's even a millionaire who lives here. In fact, he started the village. Zappos CEO, Tony Shea, moved into an Airstream here in 2014 after relocating the company headquarters to downtown Vegas. Tony had bought a bunch of tiny houses and Airstreams for a business idea, some sort of like hotel concept. A bunch of us actually came together for a week just to like test pilot them. Shay's pilot never came to fruition, but he still lives here, and the Airstream Village and full-time residents remained. As Vegas undergoes a revival, New Blood is bringing in novel business ideas. Sarah and I moved here to open a virtual reality-themed bar, restaurant, lounge. It's my personal dream to rent this building and turn it into the world's greatest virtual reality entertainment park. I see it going there and being incredible and really helping to continue to put downtown Las Vegas sort of on the map. With locally owned small businesses like cafes, shops, and bars popping up all around and new residential construction underway, a real community is making downtown Vegas livable. There's a lot more people that, that live here um, and are staying here. Downtown definitely has the potential to be like a Brooklyn to New York City. It's not gonna happen as quickly as perhaps Brooklyn, but it certainly feels like that is happening here. Being in this exact scene here and seeing mm -hmm. this develop, it's pretty amazing. People are putting 
all of themselves into into what they're doing here. And I've already seen so many incredible things downtown, and I think that there's only so many more incredible things to come.